Do you know what an integer is? An integer is a whole number, not a fraction that can be positive, negative or zero. Let's identify some integers around us. There are 12 months in a year. 12 is an integer. This recipe needs 2.5 cups of milk. 2.5 is not an integer. The car parking is at the minus 2 floor. Minus 2 is an integer. This car costs rupees 12 lakh 48 thousand. 12 lakh 48 thousand is an integer. I ate half of the cake. Half is not an integer. Let's take a journey around the world to explore integers. Our first stop is at the deserts of Rajasthan. Can you spot the camels? Oh, it's very hot. Let's check the temperature. It is 40 degrees. Did you notice? The temperature is represented using a positive integer. Even though 40 is a positive integer, we usually don't say positive or write the plus sign. Our next stop is Antarctica. Can you spot penguins? Oh, it's very cold. Let's check the temperature again. It is minus 30 degrees. Did you notice? The temperature is represented using a negative integer. Does this minus sign mean something? Yes, the negative sign indicates that the temperature that goes below zero. Let's pause and think. We use negative integers to show temperatures which fall below zero degrees and positive integers to show temperatures above zero degrees. What are the other places where integers are used? Have you seen that some floors are indicated as negative numbers in your elevator panel? While floors above ground floor are represented by positive integers, the floors below ground floor are represented by negative integers. Have you ever visited a bank? While depositing 1000 rupees in your account is represented by the positive integer 1000. A withdrawal of 500 rupees is represented by the negative integer minus 500. Let's conclude. Now you have seen that integers are used in many places around us. Hope you had a great journey exploring integers. We will learn more about integers in this chapter.